have you ever had that one moment where you realized you were too late? Maybe it was Bitcoin when it was a few hundred bucks. Maybe it was Tesla when people laughed at electric cars. Or maybe it was Nvidia before AI turned it into a $3 trillion giant. I've had those moments too. And let me tell you, nothing stings like watching a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity pass you by because you were waiting for the right time. Now here's the part that most people don't see coming. The next trillion dollar wave is already forming. And unlike AI, it's not crowded yet. It's called quantum computing. And according to Rigetti's CEO, the world is just four years away from quantum advantage. That means quantum systems could soon solve problems that even supercomputers can't touch. In drug discovery, finance, cybersecurity, and energy. So why should you care? Because if that timeline holds true, we have roughly four years to position ourselves before quantum computing dominates every sector that matters and before Wall Street wakes up to it. And I know what you're thinking. Mark, I've heard this before. Every new tech is supposed to be the next big thing. Fair. But here's what's different. This time, the math already checks out. Big tech is already making billions from quantum infrastructure. Today, and the small focused players building the actual quantum machines... Some of them are trading under $10 a share. If even one of them hits, the upside could be life-changing. So in this video, I'm not selling dreams. I'm showing you data. We'll map out exactly how this trillion-dollar sector breaks down, how $100 could strategically become $1,000 or more by 2030, and how to do it without gambling your future. This is the quiet window before the boom. The same kind of window early investors had before cloud, before AI, before the internet itself. And by the end of this, you'll know whether you're ready to be early or whether you'll be watching it from the sidelines again. Let's get into it. Let's get real about what's actually happening in quantum. Let's be honest. Quantum computing sounds like something you'd hear in a sci-fi movie. And because of that, most people write it off. They think it's theoretical, expensive, or still decades away. But here's what they don't realize. Quantum computers already exist. Companies like Google, IBM, and IonQ are building them and governments are quietly investing billions behind the scenes. This isn't a moonshot. This is engineering on a clock, and that clock just started ticking louder. See, traditional computers, the ones in your phone, your car, your laptop, they operate in binary, ones and zeros. Quantum computers operate on qubits, which can exist as both one and zero simultaneously. This allows them to process insanely complex problems that would take classical computers thousands of years to solve. We're not talking about faster spreadsheets here. We're talking about cracking pharmaceutical compounds in minutes, optimizing financial models, reshaping logistics, cybersecurity, clean energy, problems that are too big for today's best systems. According to leading experts, quantum computing could unlock over $1 trillion in value by 2035. And the companies building that future? Some of them are still under the radar. Now here's where the emotional contrast kicks in. You've got two types of investors right now. One group sees quantum as too complicated, so they ignore it. They'll wait until it's on CNBC and everyone else is talking about it. By then, the returns will be gone. The other group, the early ones, they're learning, researching, and positioning while the sector is still in its infancy. That group will own the narrative. They'll be the ones who turned $100 bets into $1,000 outcomes. Not through luck, but through timing and patience. This isn't about hype. It's about math. The technology is real. The revenue is already showing up. And now is the moment when asymmetric investing starts to look obvious in hindsight. Here's the personal mistake that changed everything for me. I used to work at Amazon. Long hours, big goals, a safe salary that was supposed to build my future. But deep down, I knew that no paycheck was going to buy me freedom. Not really. The real shift came when I started studying deep tech trends. I wasn't trying to get rich quick. I was trying to understand what was next, not what was already priced in. And in 2018, I made a move that changed my life. I came across this little company, D-Wave, a pure quantum play. Hardly anyone was talking about it. But the science? It was years ahead. So I did what most people wouldn't. I invested $1,000 just to see what would happen. Today, that $1,000 is worth over $40,000. That one move gave me clarity. It wasn't luck. It was research. It was timing. It was seeing the edge before the herd. That mindset spotting the next D-wave before the headlines catch up is what let me walk away from corporate life at 45, financially free. And it's why I'm laser focused on quantum again today. Because I've seen this pattern before. When you combine new tech, a tiny investor base, and a massive addressable market, you get a once-in-a-decade opportunity. 
and this time I'm not keeping it to myself. Okay, here's exactly how I'm thinking about investing in quantum. Let's say you only had $100 to invest in quantum. How do you play a market this complex without gambling or getting left behind? That's where the quantum trinity comes in. The exact framework I use to build my exposure while managing risk. Lens 1. Infrastructure. The safe core. These are the companies already making money from quantum tech today. They're not betting on one outcome. They're building the digital roads, bridges, and cloud systems every quantum player will need. No matter who wins. Safe. Reliable. Growing. Lens 2. Builders. The bold bets. These companies are going all in on quantum hardware. No safety net. They either hit big or go home. If you're looking for true upside, like 10 times, 20 times potential, this is the layer where it happens. But with that reward comes risk. Lens 3. Dreamers. The dangerous but exciting. These are the penny stocks, the underdogs, the labs with a whiteboard and a patent. They could 100 times or vanish. These are tiny positions. Not for gambling, but for asymmetric exposure. The kind of bets that don't hurt you if they fail, but could change your life if they succeed. This is how I turn uncertainty into strategy. Because the truth is, I'm not trying to guess the winner. I'm positioning to benefit from the rise of quantum as a whole. And this three-layered approach protects my downside while keeping me in the game for the upside. So now, let's walk through each layer, starting with the one that's already cashing in. Here's the ironic part. The biggest winners in a gold rush are usually the ones selling shovels. Quantum is no different. These companies aren't building quantum computers. They're building the platforms, hardware, and software that quantum computing runs on. And they're getting paid today. Let's start with NVIDIA. Everyone knows them for AI and GPUs, but here's what most investors miss. Quantum computers don't replace GPUs. They multiply the demand for them. Every quantum experiment still needs massive classical computing for simulation, control, and error correction. NVIDIA's Q Quantum platform already lets companies simulate quantum circuits up to 100 times faster using their existing GPUs. And before most companies even touch a quantum processor, they're testing algorithms on NVIDIA hardware. Then there's Microsoft playing the long game. Azure Quantum already offers access to real quantum machines like IonQ and Quantinuum. But Microsoft isn't just renting hardware, they're, they're selling outcomes. Their work in error correction recently beat every previous benchmark by 800 times. That's the kind of breakthrough that turns theory into scalable products. Amazon is quietly running the casino. AWS Breakit provides access to six different quantum platforms. But the genius? Each quantum job requires hundreds of classical compute hours, all billable on AWS. Whether quantum works now or in 10 years, Amazon gets paid either way. Google is leading the reliability race. Their Willow chip achieved below threshold error correction, meaning their systems improve as they scale, not degrade. And through their spin-out, Sandbox AQ, they're already commercializing quantum-driven security and simulation tools today. And finally, IBM, the old-school tech player most people overlook. IBM has quietly become the standard in quantum software. Their open-source framework, Xiskit, is used by over 450,000 developers and is supported across AWS and Azure. They're not just building quantum systems. They wrote the language everyone else is using. These five companies, NVIDIA, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, and IBM, don't need to bet on quantum. They're the ones enabling it. And regardless of which hardware wins or when mass adoption hits, these giants are already profiting. That's why this layer is my foundation. It's safe, it's growing, and it ensures I'm in the game even if the timeline stretches. Now let's get into the bold bets. The companies that are betting everything on quantum hardware. No backup plan. No diversified revenue streams. These are the pioneers, the moonshots. And if any one of them hits, the upside is massive. First up, IonQ, what I call the TSMC of quantum computing. They've built a system using trapped ion qubits, which are incredibly stable, highly connected, and produce fewer errors than most other approaches. That's not just theoretical. It's showing up in real results. In June 2025, they worked with AstraZeneca, AWS, and NVIDIA to accelerate a pharmaceutical workflow by 20 times. Not a demo, a real commercial use case. And in September, their tempo system hit AQ64, currently the highest benchmark in the industry. With Q2 revenue hitting $20.7 million and guidance of up to $100 million for the year, 
IonQ isn't just promising, they're delivering. Then there's Rigetti, a comeback story with some serious government firepower behind them. They're taking a unique approach, modular quantum computing using chiplet architecture. Instead of scaling up one massive processor, they stitch smaller ones together, a more flexible and scalable design. Their latest Anka 3 system reached 99.5% two-qubit fidelity, a critical benchmark for error correction. DARPA, the U.S. Air Force, and the U.K. government are all backing them with multi-million dollar contracts. Why? Because Regetti isn't just building tech. They own Fab1, their in-house chip fab. That gives them full-stack control, from design to deployment. If their chiplet model works, they could become the quantum platform others build on. And finally, D-Wave, the rebel. While everyone else is waiting for fault-tolerant quantum, D-Wave is making real money today with a different model, quantum annealing. They specialize in solving optimization problems in logistics, supply chains, and finance. Stuff companies are already facing. Their Advantage 2 system launched in 2025, and their first half revenue hit $18.1 million, up 289% year over year. These are paying clients solving real problems right now. D-Wave is already on AWS bracket and has signed government procurement deals and commercial contracts. They're not waiting for the future. They're monetizing quantum today. Here's the trade-off. This layer is volatile. If quantum hits delays or another player pulls ahead, these stocks could drop hard. But if even one of these companies becomes a category leader, we're talking 20 times to 70 times returns. That's why this layer gets a meaningful but measured slice of my portfolio. It's not about picking a favorite. It's about positioning where real disruption is already underway. These tiny stocks are super risky. But here's why I'm still watching. Now let's talk about the wild cards. The dreamers. The startups that might be building the next Google of quantum or nothing at all. These aren't safe bets. You won't see them in your 401k. But in small doses, they can inject explosive upside into a well-diversified portfolio. First up, QUBT, a photonic quantum computing play. Unlike traditional systems that require deep cryogenic cooling, they're building quantum chips that can run at room temperature. That's huge. They're also developing a photonic foundry in Tempe, Arizona, and already have purchase orders lined up. If photonics becomes the scalable future of quantum, QUBT could become a major acquisition target. Moderate analyst ratings already project 30% plus upside, and that's without a major breakthrough. Next, LE Seals Q focused on quantum safe encryption chips. Why does that matter? Because quantum computers could break today's encryption standards, and by 2027, regulators may start mandating new post quantum standards for every device. Seals Q already has validated hardware and could see explosive demand from automakers, IoT firms, and cybersecurity players. The threat is real, and if they land OEM contracts, the upside could hit 30 times to 80 times. Then there's ARQQAQ, ARQIT, another post quantum security company, but they're software driven. Their SKA Edge controller protects communication networks from future quantum hacks. The model is simple land one tier one telecom or government deal, and this stock could 10 times overnight. High risk, but high potential for asymmetric reward. And finally, HOL MicroCloud. Hologram. This one's wild. They're in everything from holographic tech to AR blockchain and now quantum simulation. They've got $394 million in cash, which is rare for a penny stock. But credibility? Thin. Lots of press releases, few peer-reviewed results. Still, if even one of their quantum claims, like cutting simulation costs by 50%, proves true, this could be a dark horse winner. Here's the honest truth. Most of these companies won't make it. Some will get acquired. Some might fail completely. But I don't need all of them to win. If even one breaks out, a small position could change the trajectory of my portfolio. That's the emotional contrast here. These aren't safe plays, but they're the kind of calculated bets that make the boring parts of your portfolio feel like insurance. They won't make your year until they do. Want a simpler option? This one ETF covers the whole sector. Now, if everything we've covered so far sounds interesting, but you don't have time to research individual stocks, or you just prefer a hands-off approach, there is one clean option. It's called QTUM, the Defiance Quantum ETF. One ticker gives you exposure to about 77 different quantum-related companies. 
From NVIDIA and Microsoft to smaller names like IonQ and Regetti, it's all wrapped into one diversified package. So here's the trade-off. You're getting lower risk because no single company can tank your position, but also lower upside. For example, when IonQ nearly doubled this year, QTM only got a small bump because it only holds about 5% in IonQ. The other 95% is spread across the rest, including some underperformers. So QTUM works if you want exposure without the stress. It's a way to track the industry trend without trying to pick winners. But if you're aiming for real outperformance, you might miss the biggest returns. That's the game. Smooth ride, smaller payoff, or calculated bets with bigger impact. All right, here's exactly how I'd split $100 across all these plays. So let's say you're ready. You've got $100 you want to position for quantum. Here's how I'd break it down, using the quantum trinity we talked about earlier. $70 into infrastructure. The giants, the safe picks. These companies are already profitable, and even if quantum takes 10 years, they'll keep compounding from AI, cloud, and enterprise growth. Think of this as your foundation. $25 into the pure play builders. These are your bold bets. They're all in on quantum. If even one of them breaks through, that $25 could become $500 or more. But it's not guaranteed. This layer brings the risk and the excitement. $5 into the dreamers. Tiny positions, lottery tickets. This isn't money you depend on. This is money you can afford to lose because the upside is just too good to ignore. Now let's look at what this could mean. Realistically, conservative scenario, your $100 becomes $250 to $370 over the next decade. That's a 10% to 14% annual return. Stronger than the S&P 500. But if quantum arrives on time and one or two of the builders or dreamers explode, that same $100 could realistically hit $1,000 to $2,600. That's the power of asymmetric positioning. Just remember, markets don't move in straight lines. Timelines shift, cycles stretch. But the trend is clear, and right now we're still early. Let's rewind. In 2012, Bitcoin was under $10. In 2017, Nvidia was still under $30. In 2020, people laughed at Tesla's valuation. Those weren't safe bets at the time. They looked risky, they looked weird, but they were early. And the people who studied, learned, and positioned, they weren't lucky. They were ready. Quantum in 2025 feels like that. So the question is simple. Are you going to be early or are you going to be late again? Because this isn't hype. It's not a TikTok trend. It's deep tech, backed by data, unfolding in real time. Positioning doesn't mean going all in. It means being aware, being prepared, and acting with intention. Don't just watch. Start positioning yourself now. If this video gave you clarity, do me a favor. Hit subscribe and check out the free newsletter down below. That's where I share deeper dives, research, and yes, my personal portfolio breakdowns in real time. Because I'm not betting on who wins. I'm not chasing hype. I'm simply positioning for the inevitable explosion. The question is, are you? This is Mark from The Dividend Hustle. I'll see you in the next one.